So in today's video, we're going to talk about the MonsterVerse. As we know, Godzilla X Kong The New Empire had a teaser trailer a month or so ago, and it broke the MonsterVerse universe, the MonsterVerse community, and we got what appeared to be Evil Kong, Red Kong, some kind of ancestor of Kong, maybe, maybe even a orangutan. But since then, we've had lots of other leaks, maybe, rumors, maybe, verified journalists who are allowed to say stuff because I don't know why. So, yo, what is good YouTube voice you here if you are new around it? Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Kaiju, Monsterverse, Marvel, DC, Gaming. We generally cover a wide spectrum of pop culture based stuff on this channel. So subscribe, comment down below. What the freaking hell is going on with this movie? And do you think we are going to get a San Diego Comic-Con trailer this year. I really hope we are going to. And also, if you could, follow us on our verified Instagram account. It is at Warstu. It's verified, so make sure to follow the real one. And also, if you could, check us out on Twitter, Warstu G, and also twitch.tv forward slash Warstu. So, we have already covered the plot information that went onto the internet. Now, as far as we understand here on the Warstu channel, if something is on the internet, I'd rather you hear it from me than from anybody else. So it broke on the internet and the plot was somewhat all over the place. And apparently the plot is somewhat maybe true, maybe not true. We don't know. That's the whole fun of going over alleged test screen information because it could be made up. It could be real. We don't know. And in the past, I don't think it adds any validity if a studio takes down a video, because realistically, that does not mean much. A studio have previously taken down videos because of a thumbnail, because of something you said in the video they didn't like, for example. So that doesn't necessarily mean the plot that got on the internet was real, because I've been speaking to some people, and from what I understand, the information that got online uh, is only like 50 to 60% true. And it's not a true indication of the finished product of the movie. And it's very early cut to the point where it might not even make the final cut, if that makes any sense, because they are going to change a lot of stuff. When the writer's strike is done with, they will do reshoots. And it's not necessarily a bad thing that the plot details from the test screen have eventually gone online. Why? Because the whole reason of a test screening is feedback from the random audience. Now, what better feedback can you get than from the internet? Because trust me, if this alleged test screen information is true, the people over at Legendary Pictures, I think it's distributed by Warner Bros. So Legendary Pictures will be looking at all the comments to do with the plot to see what the actual audience thinks. So sometimes loads of Marvel stuff, loads of DC stuff, it can sometimes be a good thing when stuff gets on the internet. So we're going to briefly go over the plot of what was said, and then we're going to go over some supposed, respectfully, I don't know who this person is, but apparently this person's allowed to drop real information, but other people aren't. I don't understand how this works. I've been in this game maybe four or five years. We've been covering lots of different like fandoms, if you like, Marvel, DC, MonsterVerse, Star Wars, for literal years. So I know how it is in the game of getting information, and I know how sometimes people get annoyed if you put information out before them. But realistically, if this information is real, is it anything different to anything else online? No, because we did kind of talk about the Godzilla vs. Kong movie before it came out and our information just happened to be true like i say you've always got to take this stuff with a pinch of salt so it might look like we're going over the same information but there's much more context and I, I wasn't particularly happy with how the video was received so i wanted to address some things before we went over so this is coming courtesy of 4chan so make of that what you want so it essentially says if you like the tone the comedic value the interaction between the titans and the humans in godzilla versus kong you're going to be very happy with godzilla x kong the new empire to be honest I, i'm really excited for it and realistically the plot information doesn't really give too much away that you couldn't already guess because if the formula works so much in godzilla versus kong like it did it grossed just under $500 million at the box office. Whilst releasing on HBO Max day and day release, that movie would have got close to seven to $800 million had it not been on HBO Max. So guess what, lads? Don't put it on HBO Max. So apparently there is two villains. Now, this already can be verified because we know 
we see in the first tease for Godzilla X Kong. That I'm going to have to just say Godzilla X Kong because saying the new empire is getting really long. We know there is some kind of villain in that looks like an orangutan. So apparently the red evil Kong goes by the name of Scar King. Now, as I said, I've spoke to some people and apparently some of this information is true, some of it's not true. So it's almost like it's fan fiction, but it could actually be true. We, we don't know. So apparently there's two villains. So Scar King is the red ape from the trailer. And apparently he wields a large bone whip spine that he wraps across his shoulder some kind of way. I'm literally reading this how this 4chan poster says. Hell of a fighter, learner, and more agile than Kong. The human race is more warm to Godzilla in terms of their fear, because you know in Godzilla vs. Kong there was a scene where all the humans were terrified, or literally terrified every time they see him, which is interesting. He tends to slumber in inconvenient places, which adds a bit of humor. For example, there was a battle he fell asleep in the Colosseum of Rome. Ironically, they're doing reshoots in Rome, allegedly. Monarch leaders constantly fighting with Monarch on how to handle with the Tai Kong is still in Hollow Earth, which he should be because that's where the movie essentially ended. Godzilla went to the sea, Kong went in Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth in a very lonely existence with only Monarch scientists observing him. Film opens with Kong being chased by a pack of oversized jackals type titans but he turns the table and traps them successful hunt godzilla is awoken from hibernation to do an energy signal from hollow earth a beacon even monarch can't decipher the signal is also having an effect on jai a young girl from skull island who befriended kong in the last film the girl begins having strange visions now it's worth saying that i have been told some of this is kind of blown out of context and some of this is actually made up apparently but like i say i like to go over these because it's more like fan fiction we don't know if it's true or not that's not for me to decide we just like to go over test screen information and rumors and leaks when they appear online because in my humble opinion that does not change the overall movie going experience because when you click into this video you already know what you're getting so if you click into the video you already know you're going to get maybe potential spoilers so it goes on to say the following. A new threat has been awoken in Hollow Earth, trapped in a subterranean prison, but inadvertently is freed by Kong. It is a tribe of warrior apes led by a young lad, a brutal warrior, a brutal leader called the Scar King. Their sights are then set for the surface world. Scar has a secret weapon that will help rule the planet. Most of the film is still in early stages with the VFX, most of the creature sequences were very incomplete. Renders, previs, etc. Lads and lads, that's how I address people. That's how I address the audience. The movie doesn't come out till next year. That's why it's fun, because a lot of this could be fabricated. We don't know. The new Titans will be featured. One named Arcanine that Godzilla destroyed in the opening credits. One named Shamu that is set to be the first ever Titan that resembles a pale reptile capable of freezing things with ice breath and has large crystals protruding from the body. So he, he sound, sounds a lot like Space Godzilla, if you ask me. He basically sounds like a carbon copy of Godzilla. Yo, Wash you, you did a plot leak last year going over Space Godzilla being in this movie. If you ask me if this Shamui lad is correct and if it's real information, it's basically Space Godzilla. This creature is Scary King's secret weapon. Interesting. This is likely where the earlier reports seemed to be confused, where they were getting space stroke crystallized Godzilla. Kong makes a new friend when he is captured, a child named Su, I believe that's what it's saying, who runs the enemy tribe. Again, this is likely where the early rumors of Son of Kong came from. No, we're going to break that down and debunk that. Son of Kong actually came from a trade where the trade said the working title was Son of Kong. That's where it came from. So eventually developed a father-son relationship type of thing. Apparently the best part of the film, and this time around, is actually going to be a human element and moments between Jai and her adopted mum, Rebecca Hall, are moving. Dan Stevens is a very flamboyant monic medic who specialises in working on the wounded titan and acts as Kong's dentist, if you like. When he needs a tooth extraction, he also had a past relationship with Alina or Elena. The audience seemed to enjoy 
him. Movie does get super silly, ridiculous, but not on Fast and Furious 10 level. Okay, I'm just making that part up, but that movie was pretty ridiculous. Titan Heroes gets upgraded, including cybernetic enhancements for one of them, courtesy of Monarch. Now, there are some toys that have been floating around the internet, which I, I find interesting. So there's a little bit more context here. Like you say, this could be fabricated. We don't know. But let's be honest, if you actually checked out the video we made last year, this plot leak, if you like, it's not it's not much different to what i said literally six months ago scar king does not have radioactive powers now what's interesting here is from the teaser trailer it did look like he had radioactive redness coming from his eyes etc his only real power is he uses a shard of crystal that tips the end of his bone whip that belongs to the titan shamui or shamu who essentially is space godzilla if it's true it allows him to control shamu who can, in turn, freeze the world. So you're saying the evil ape can control Shamu, who, who sounds like Space Godzilla, if it's true. It was actually Shamu who brought about the first Ice Age at the command of the Scar King. Scar King was once part of a peaceful giant apes that protected humanity until he grew power hungry. It was actually Godzilla that defeated Scar King and trapped him and his army of renegade apes beneath the Hollow Earth. So that's interesting if that is true. So what you're saying is Godzilla has already de defeated Scar King previously, but the teaser trailer makes it look like there's bones for both Kong and Godzilla. So what you're already saying is we already know, okay, this if this is hypothetically speaking, Godzilla's already destroyed Scar King. So that's interesting that Scar King has some attributes, some shard that can control Shamu, who essentially sounds like space Godzilla, so is it going to be this Shamu who is like Space Godzilla going against actual Godzilla? And would it be Kong going against evil Kong who appears to have absolutely no power? Now, it's worth saying, I don't really think if this information is real, that it's actually bad going over it because this will help build the fandom. This will help build the hype for Godzilla x Kong. There are loads of cool MonsterVerse YouTubers, but one thing that is hard to do until we get the first trailer for Godzilla x Kong New Empire is actually produce content around the MonsterVerse to do with the next movie. So it's cool going over this. So let me know down below, guys. Is this real? Is this not real? I've spoke to some people behind the scenes and they have said this is somewhat 50, 60% true. Make that what you want. I can't confirm or verify if they're being truthful. But what is interesting is I came across, I mean, I don't really know many people in this MonsterVerse space, realistically. So there was a drawing on the wall that is now apparently canon. So there is a Twitter user that goes by the name of KDM underscore monsters. Now, I've seen this name float around before, and apparently, this person is some kind of journalist. In fact, let's actually look what it says on his Twitter. He's some kind of journalist, but the thing is, okay, film journalist since 1998. Interesting. So, everyone thought this was some kind of Godzilla, some kind of space Godzilla, but this person is now saying it's now officially canon. I don't know. And this is from the COD event, apparently. I'm, I'm literally reading comments. It's canon now, mate. That happened two years ago in a collab with Call of Duty Warzone. And back then, COD wasn't canon. It's still isn't canon but the new titan is now okay the new titan so whoever this k and dm and i'm being seriously i've got no idea who this person is i have seen him float around the internet i have seen stuff he's allegedly said on instagram and twitter before but i don't actually personally know who he is so is this person saying this new titan is canon canon and it looks like it's godzilla next to it so is this the space godzilla who kind of looks like a dragon. Is this Shamu, who literally is Space Godzilla without the actual name? That would be interesting that it is canon because this was revealed at the Call of Duty event apparently two years ago. Now, if you go like this, go dating back May the 18th. Now, if you read the comments, this KDM person, full credit to this person, he also says Shamu is the name of this character, of this Titan. So whoever this person is, is indirectly confirming parts of the test screen information was true but as i said the test screen information it's not bad because it allows the studio it allows legendary it allows warner bros i don't actually know who's uh, legendary made the movie so i presume it's them it allows them to look online to see what are people saying what is the reaction do they like the general plot it's a really good thing and i wish studios would not endorse it because they can't endorse it but it 
really does help them because the idea of the test screening is get feedback from the plot and then it suddenly this happens for every single movie this is nothing new it just doesn't happen as frequently often in the monsterverse movies so i do find it interesting how this kmd person is basically confirming that godzilla is fighting shamu in this call of duty event which, which is interesting so they seem to say it's canon so is this saying that space godzilla is really shamu and technically i guess i don't know see the thing is i don't really know anyone in this space so in the bio it says film journalists mentioned on vanity comicworld.com etc so it appears they're legit whoever they are which is cool because that in theory confirms the information that i put out last year about space godzilla being the villain is somewhat true because the description basically reads like he is space godzilla which i find fascinating so make that what you want i don't know what to make of that it is pretty cool the plot information does sound really interesting hopefully we will get a trailer that comes at a San Diego Comic Con. And then really, if, if the plot information was real, the trailer is gonna absolutely confirm the plot leaks real. If the, it is real, and if the stuff in the trailer confirms it, your boy Ward Stu, Ward Rizzy, will actually do a video on it and go into it. Obviously, I've said previously, I do have lots of other information about the plot, but I'm not here to get anyone in trouble. We're just going over information that is out in the public domain. It's out in the public space for you to interpret however you want. We are strictly just going over what is online, hence why I put screenshots when I talk about it at some point in the video. I'll put overlay screenshots of this information and of the information that KMD on Twitter said, basically confirming it's canon and that is going to be a titan that appear. Although he doesn't actually say that, it's pretty much Space Godzilla. Someone says Space Godzilla, LOL, and, and then KMD basically says LOL. So if KMD is legit, then he's basically confirming that Shamu or Shamu is basically Space Godzilla, and it's basically true. So likewise, guys, let us know down below. What do you think of the plot? What do you think of these styles of videos? These test screen videos that I do and going over plot information and plot rumors are generally quite good, and the reception in the comments section is normally quite positive so like always not my intention it's not my idea to ruin any potential movie for anyone but as i say i do give ample warnings for these potential maybe ideas that, that spoilers leaks that could be true we don't know if they are true but generally if you click into the video i do give ample time before you actually watch said video and listen to what i say so I'm not really ruining anything. If you click in, you know exactly what you're coming here for. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wars G, the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter, Wars G, and I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch ya later.